All right, YouTube. We're gonna be doing a cheap carpet. This is out of Lowe's. It's less than 30 bucks for this carpet. Now I cut, I had them cut the six feet and it's 12 foot long, six feet wide. Actually, I'm gonna need 55 inches, but got extra just in case. So 55 and a half inches is the interior width. So I'm gonna cut it that ways and then cut it um, the length and see if we could fit it in this car. So we see we got it cut. Now we gotta shove it in the car and start making some more cuts before we glue it down. All right, that's just, these seats don't come with this car. If you're wondering what that bolt is, that's just the marker for bolting the seats down. Anyways, so here we go. This is before I glue it. Hoping that the glue will take out the wrinkles. One learning experience. Because last time I did it, I usually do when I do these four cars, is I uh, buy the pre-made carpet, which is fit for the mold. So I measured it across at 55 inches and I was like well actually 53 measure at 53 inches so then I was like well, let me make it to 56 I'll cut it 56 inches wide but that does not account for the hump so we're gonna be pretty tight on the edges here uh, I think normally the carpet goes to here and it fits just right to the other edge See, I'm gonna press this loose. Well, obviously, with this hump, but from this part here at least, it's gonna be close. Might be some showing, floor showing, which it's kind of annoying, but it doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't a molded carpet, this is just a sheet that I found at, found at Lowe's. But anyways, let's glue it down and see how it holds up. Right? So, being a mine on a rusty floor, I mean, hey, it's rusty, but it's okay. We're gonna spray. Oh dear. We're gonna spray this floor. This glue. And then, we're gonna spray the bottom one with this glue. Right there. And we're gonna squish it down. Hopefully it sticks. All right. So there we got it. Looks a little bit on the ghetto side, but it's covered. Some spots don't look bad. Now we're gonna put the center console back on here. The back seat there, maybe a strip. I had to cut it on the middle so that I can get it edge to edge. And See over here, actually, need to glue that down so it stays smooth. But it's covered for 30 bucks instead of 130 bucks. So let's get the pieces and parts into it. Let's get the seats and uh, the trim. All right, well, that's how it looks. Put the seats in. Now these seats came out of who knows what. Found them on Craigslist for, no, Marketplace for like 20 bucks. So I don't know what they came out of. But it doesn't look, it doesn't look absolutely horrible. Could look better, but. So you got some places that didn't glue down good enough. But it's better than bare floor. And for 30 bucks, and I had rug left over, I really, uh, I got too much. Got too much rug. What's that trash? Uh, but, let's lift this up. Yeah, that seat's not even bolted down yet. But, let's see this floor. Let's see, there's some of these creases. These lines, I had to cut the rug and fold it over. Oh, look at that glue. And uh, all my dirt is in here. But could have done these edges better. And you can see that layover I had to do because of the hump. If I had measured it, 
differently, I might have gotten away with to have and use this hump piece. But again, for the price, instead of 130 bucks, I paid 30 bucks. So it's something that anybody can do and it uh, won't be too difficult to get done. Approximate time it took me was, let's just say, about three hours, two hours. So, see the other side. Of course, I'm missing trim. This seat actually got two bolts in, but there's the front. I'm going to put floor mats in here, vacuum them up, and it'll be all right. I'm missing this trim. did not come with the car, so... That aluminum piece that goes across. That kind of sucks. Thought it was in the trunk, but it's not. And if you saw my other video, how to, I threw that, I glued that on the seat. Didn't want to buy a cover. So, anyways, that's it. If you want a $30 cheap carpet, do it yourself. That's where you gotta go. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel for more videos cheap and easy DIY videos.